installation complete. Reboot. See the sign engine logo instead of an eye. Come on. And see, even your phone doesn't like it unless you're right up on it, and it's fine. From a distance, it's like sign engine. Come on. What? Yeah. Okay, we're in a boot loop, so going to install these drivers as supposed to. And then you gotta download this file. It'll be done in a minute. Load up RSD Lite. You also gotta have the drivers for the Droid X. So I gotta wait for this file to finish so I can put it inside here. Alright. Click this little button. Desktop. Okay, unzip it. Gotta unzip this file and grab this out of it and put it on the desktop. Okay, now we click this one and we find the SBF right here. Open. And we gotta put the Droid X in bootloader by pressing volume, down, camera, and power. And this is what I see. It's almost done. 100%. Come on, hurry up. Phone still says the same thing. Does it say reboot? I have to manually reboot. Then it installed this. I'll show you the phone when the phone starts doing something different. I think the hardest part is going to be the rooting part, doing ADB. Flash it to. What it said to the SB Ooh, phone just flashed. You know, if you flash it to two point two, you could use a Z four. That sucks. Now it says it's doing something else. No, you, no, you probably still flash it with Z four root. It says two point three point three. Phone started booting up. I haven't touched the phone, but it's only 29%, 33%. So why is it booting the phone? Again, I didn't touch it. I didn't do anything. It just it went from software update and okay yeah, to this. Being rebooted. That's only 4% oh. booted. Is that 4.9? What? 5.3.1? That's what it said to use. They must have updated. He had a rooted ROM install and it kept boot looping after it updated. We wiped the phone and then we updated to Sign Engine, so that's not the issue. So that's just rebooting and it's going to go 100%. Whoa, why, why, why? No, go away, be cast. We like you. Now it says 100%. I still haven't really touched the phone and it's rebooting once again. Okay, so once RSD Lite flashed the 2.2 that I showed you, it put 2.2 on the phone. So we were able to use Z4 root and just root it with clicking perm root. It rebooted and then we downloaded the bootstrap APK that was also in the guide that I'll link to and installed the APK and clicked bootstrap, the first one and then the second one, and then it went into recovery, and then here we're just installing the official CM7.1.0 RC0 ROM. It's almost done. And here I'm just installing the Google add-ons. You have to separately download that as well. It's a very quick process. And reboot. Before we had a 2.3 update from Motorola, so it should work this time since we had 2.2 and then did it. Sign engine, sign engine, sign engine! <laughs> so that one nightly you had probably would have worked. But this is better than a nightly because it's more stable. Sign engine mod 7 on a Droid X. RSD Lite 2.2, Z4 root it, install Bootstrap Recovery APK or from the market if you want to pay for it, and then apply the sign engine mod zip. Sweet. <laughs> 2.3. That's awesome. Okay, after signing into the Google account. See? It's a, there we go. I love the gingerbread 2.3 icons. 
it wants you to check all the ones you want and then you gotta go on each one and click install why do that when you're rooted and you can just do titanium backup and it's for the hell of it let's do a quadrant since you got cyanogen on here now quadrant got the neat little things in the notification bar Okay, run full benchmark. Menu settings about phone. This is what would Josh do, and I'm out.